Okay, guys, I'm in here. going to let it rain you one and then I'm going to uh, put a wire okay oh my god that feels so weird Yeah. <laughs> For Valentine's Day. Oh, no, it's yeah. Good. It's not so bad. <laughs> it feels so weird though. Yeah. Once the colors are on, it's gonna feel smoother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer. Yeah. I've been watching so many videos. <laughs> <laughs> videos about treatments everything is getting like more scary i know it's like oh my god i'm gonna be there for three hours they have they have to do extraction or you watch videos yeah okay this is the wire okay so it's just going here Sometimes when I'm doing this, I have to put a little pressure, okay? Okay. Francia, we did traditional metal. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Just pressure in the back because I'm going to cut the wire, okay? okay. My glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting old. No. Yeah. You just need some help. I just realized that I need glasses when I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. Went to the doctor eyes. Uh -huh. And they told me yes because after your age, after forty, <laughs> your vision is getting worse. It's just the age is getting tired. I feel like I am twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Most important, just like to feel down all the time. Yeah, you look really good for your age, yeah, Thank you. And I have three kids. Oh my god, you literally look like you're 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Okay. If you have any necklace also, take it out. Oh my god. This is them. Yeah, they didn't hurt and the process took like maybe an hour and some change. The worst part was my mouth being open for that long, but it didn't hurt. I feel like I have like fluid in my mouth that I want to spit out. And there's this weird pressure, but I don't have pain. So she said not to eat for an hour after getting them done. This is the list of foods that I'm supposed to stay away from while doing my treatment. And I got a bag of things I could use. A toothbrush. And it has their logo on it. Smiling. And it's a soft, of course, because that's what you should be brushing with, even if you don't have braces. Colgate. These floss threaders. For the 
string floss, Colgate floss, some wax, and a brush to get underneath the wire to clean it. I have to say right now, I think I'm starting to feel the pain kick in. I just took an Advil. I'm going to try to eat before it gets too difficult to. Definitely going to use some wax. Definitely have to stock up on chapstick and Vaseline and all that good stuff. If you made it to the end of this video, comment with this emoji right here. And I will be keeping you guys updated with all my visits. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, comment down below. If you're about to get braces, comment down below. That's about it, guys. I will see you guys next time. Okay, guys, so it's currently March 14th. It's exactly a month later. I got my braces put on February 14th, Valentine's Day, and it's officially been a month. And I actually got two brackets fixed today. Well, one bracket and one rubber band. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about like the pain level and how I've been adjusting. So for starters, the pain only lasted about like four days after my fourth day. I was able to kind of like eat normally. I stayed away from like really crunchy foods, hard foods, chips, anything with caramel, anything that was sticky, I kind of stayed away from. So the pain definitely goes away after the fourth day. You just really have to listen to your, your orthodontist and brush three times a day, floss, and stay away from those foods that you're not supposed to touch and you'll be fine. Along with my braces, I actually have to do myofunctional therapy. I'm not going to touch on it a lot in this video, but I definitely want to stress how important it is with an open bite being caused by tongue thrust. That's something that the orthodontist is going to recommend to you just so that your treatment is not a waste of time because imagine fixing your teeth and because you have that habit, you're basically going to push your teeth back to what it was before and then all that money and time is wasted. So I actually do have to go to therapy. I'm supposed to go twice a week, but my job only permits me to go once a week because I just don't have the time to do twice a week. I would probably be much further if I could do twice a week, but I'm going to stick with one for now. I'm going to do my exercises. And like I said, if you guys want me to touch on that a little more in depth in another video, I will. As far as cleaning, uh, I have a few different things that I use to clean my teeth other than a toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, all the regular stuff. I might make a separate video for hygiene and like how to take care of your teeth and different things you could buy. I invested in a water pick. I got my super floss. I have the ortho picks for like braces it's like a lot of basic stuff but i feel like there's certain things that i added to my routine that makes it much easier for me actually when i went today to get these adjusted well not adjusted fixed my orthodontist said i was doing a good job at brushing so that shows me that my routine is working so if you guys want those tips i can definitely make another video separately i brush at least two times a day. I work a like eight to five job. So I'll wake up, rinse my mouth, use a little bit of Listerine, I'll eat, and then I brush like 30 minutes after. And then when I come home from work, if I remember, <laughs> I'll brush that second time in the middle of the day just, you know, because you know you have lunch and things throughout the day. And then right before I go to bed. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working great. I just want to stay on top of that because with braces, it's very easy for food to get trapped in the brackets, for little hidden things to stay stuck in your teeth and that will cause cavities and we do not want those. So I feel like I've been doing a very good job with that and you really have to be on top of your dental hygiene while you have braces. In general, you have to be on top of your dental hygiene, but more so when you have extra appliances in your mouth. So yeah, it's been a month now and I'm used to the feeling, used to the constant pressure. For instance, this side of my mouth, I literally feel pressure like it kind of feels like my teeth are loose in a way and I actually have felt like if I push my tongue against my teeth, like some of them wiggle. But I heard that is a good sign that means that your teeth are shifting into their proper position. So I do feel that pressure 
but it wasn't as intense as like the first four days where like I felt like I couldn't eat I felt like I couldn't chew you know when you get home and you like unwind and you take you know certain things off like I feel like when I wanted to unwind I wanted to take them out of my mouth as far as the cost it's of course going to be different for everyone but I had to put a deposit down of a thousand dollars and then I'm going to pay about 260 a month so my treatment is supposed to last two years she said that she doesn't think it's going to be any sooner because of the severity of my open bite but she says with cooperation and you know following the rules there's a possibility I can get them off a little sooner but I'm in no rush to get them off it you know honestly doesn't bother me so when I went I actually had the option of either doing Invisalign or ceramic but I chose to go with metal because with Invisalign you have to wear it for at least 22 hours a day you have to take them out when you eat you have to clean them and it's just a lot of maintenance especially if you're working a full-time job or if you're going to school it's a little hard I know some people rather that because of the convenience and because it's kind of more discreet than metal brackets but I decided to just go with metal and ceramic is ideal because it's clear and it's not as noticeable but the brackets are bigger so like your lips protrude a little bit and like I already have full lips so like having something that would make my lips protrude would make it look a little weird and the ceramic also has the risk of staining if you eat any foods that have dyes in it and that's almost probably everything that we eat on a daily has dyes in it yeah. I don't know if it's gonna focus but I did go with hot pink and my appointments are gonna be eight weeks apart so every eight weeks I'll go in I'll get it adjusted I actually went today like I said to get my brackets fixed and my orthodontist wants to start me on elastics these are them here they are the, the backwards these are the elastics they're the turtle elastics and they are 3 8 and I guess that's how thick they are and she wants me to do these at night and she wants me to do the box elastics so that's basically gonna be a uh, top canine to bottom canine it basically looks like this what does it all look like and I could barely open my mouth but she said this will hold on can you see it <laughs> this will basically help close my bite but it's only going to be at night. I don't think I was supposed to get these until I go back to my next appointment. But because I was there today and I guess she saw that I was doing good with my hygiene and everything. And I'm following the steps that she told me to. She said to try this but if it gets too painful and if it starts to irritate my gum I don't have to continue with it for now. Yeah so... I'm just happy that I'm finally in the position that I can afford to do this and do something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I always knew my teeth were kind of messed up but I knew I didn't have the means to fix it. And like I said if you guys want to see those two videos I mentioned about the hygiene and the therapy I'll be happy to make those for you and keep you guys updated. If you guys have any questions or if you're about to get braces or you currently have braces, if you are going through myofunctional therapy, if you have an open bite, overbite, crowding, whatever, comment down below. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.